Taylor Swift has opened up about the workout routine that worked all too well ahead of her era's tour. With a set list that spanned her career from her first album release to her most recent, the anti-hero singer was forced to prepare for back-to-back -back three hour performances. Before embarking on the US leg of her world tour, Swift, who was just named Time Magazine's 2023 Person of the Year, candidly discussed the mental and physical preparation habits she employed over the last year in her feature profile. The Grammy winner explained how her training started six months before the stadium tour kicked off in Glendale, Arizona on 17 March. Every day I would run on the treadmill, singing the entire set list out loud. Fast for fast songs, and a jog or a fast walk for slow songs, she admitted before adding how she spent time working one-on-one -on -one with a strength training professional at the New York City gym. Dog pound. But, of course cardio and weightlifting would only get swift so far, as she was meant to prepare for a 44-song list with specialized choreography. I had three months of dance training, because I wanted to get it in my bones. The 15 performer added, I wanted to be so over-rehearsed that I could be silly with the fans and not lose my train of thought. I also quit drinking alcohol solely because of my era tour. While laughing, just want to keep my voice clean you know. Speaking with People Folklore and Evermore co-writer Aaron Desner reflected on how difficult Swift's tour performance is even though she makes it look effortless. He said, she makes it look easy but it's really a feat of incredible endurance. It's hard to think of an example of someone who matches that kind of output, except maybe Bruce Springsteen, but he doesn't have to cover as much ground as Taylor does up there. For Swift to pull off a pristine performance multiple nights in a row, she decided to sacrifice alcohol during the tour which is set to continue through November 2024. The powerhouse artist gave up drinking, as she didn't want to know what it would feel like to get on stage hungover. Doing that show with a hangover, I don't want to know that world she told time. On top of the no drinking policy, she keeps a strict routine in between tour stops to preserve her body and voice. I do not leave my bed except to get food and take it back to my bed and eat it there Swift noted. I can barely speak because I've been singing for three hours straight she continued. I know I'm going on that stage whether I'm sick, injured, heartbroken, uncomfortable or stressed. That's part of my identity as a human being now. If someone buys a ticket to my show, I'm going to play it unless we have some sort of force.